Hey guys, it's Mark from Erickson Machine and Performance. Today, I'm going to actually be showing you and reviewing um, this C5 Kalachuk. Um, it's a D18 back. So I'm going to show you how you cut this back for your lathe and mount it. Um, this is a Chinese version, but it's actually really, really high quality. It's not super expensive. There'll be a link in the description below. So basically what this does is for a C5 collet, you can set it in and then there's a chuck which then threads the C5 collet and then you can pull it. Uh, really nice for small round parts in a lathe. And then the way these work is you buy them and then they're slightly oversized so as you see this doesn't fit on so you mount this on the machine you cut this face and this face to match therefore any concentricity issues on your spindle will be made up when you cut it so it basically makes it perfect so as long as you machine it correctly you're going to have great concentricity with something like this. So I'm going to show you how you basically assemble this and then we're going to put it on the lathe and cut it. Um, and then get to using it. So pretty simple. On the D1 style mounts, these thread in, and then on this one there's captive bolts that lock it in place. So lathes have a few different style chuck mounts. Some use uh, a taper with a, a big nut that locks them. Um, others use a D style so what is there I think it's D4, D6, D8, D10 um, there might be larger than that but those are the main ones I know um, and then CNC lathes um, have a different style taper mount so but basically there's cams that grab on these little cutouts that when you tighten them, it pulls on this, and then there's this inner taper, which mounts to the lathe taper. That's what keeps everything nice and concentric. And then if you notice, there's a little cutout which there's a bolt that goes in which basically locks each one of these in afterwards. So this is a really nice kit for the money. Um, for the new lathe I got, I was looking for something. Um, and while there are some great ones out on the market, a lot of them could be thousands of dollars, you know, and this one's only a few hundred. So... Um, it really depends on what you're looking for, but for mainly what I'm doing, this is more than good enough. Last one, I'm going to put the locking bolts in. There we go. Just threw the locking hardware in.
go. So that is the back. Which is perfect. So now what we're going to do, this will get mounted in the lathe, and then we will cut this face, take a very small cut, and then what we'll end up doing is we'll measure this diameter and we'll match that one. So here, let me grab a caliper and I'll tell you how much we're going to end up removing. So this is three, seven, 42. Three seven forty two eight twenty five. So we gotta remove like eighty around there. So we'll remove eighty there, and then just enough to clean up the face. Um, and then we'll be able to bolt this on. The nice thing with this kit is it comes pre-drilled, um, and these bolts have a little bit of wiggle room. So that way, any concentricity issues with a spindle is actually made up just in the bolt hole, which is nice. So, you know, some kits you buy the backing plate and you actually have to drill and tap it as well, which isn't the end of the world, but it's nice that it's already done for you. So, you know, when this is all done and it's all cut, basically all we have to do is mount, put the hardware in, bolt it down, and we have a chuck we can start using. So, let's go on over to the lathe. Alright guys, so now we're over by the lathe. So now you'll see, this is where we're going to end up removing. So we'll loosen them off the spindle. This is a four draw chuck, so this chuck's going to come off. We'll put the new one on. Um, we'll cut it and we'll be ready to rock and roll. So first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to loosen these up. Now what I always do what I was taught to do is anytime you're removing a chuck to put a piece of wood down so that when you drop it you're not damaging the way. Almost out. There we go. Set the chuck down. So now you can see the spindle. So this is the taper that it rides on. And this is the clamps that grab on it. So let's throw the new one on. Now 
Make sure that it's clean, there's no chips. See if you can see this just so I can show you the mistake I just made. So if you guys are buying this chuck, you learn from the mistake I made, which really is no big deal. But uh, I set these pins a little too far in. So I'm going to pull them back, pull the screws out. When I was going to clamp it, it wasn't grabbing properly um, because the can didn't have enough action in it. Just so you know, this is in. The power is still to the machine and the phase converter is not even on. It's not a good idea to ever leave a chuck in the uh, a wrench in the machine. Just saying the reason it's in there is there's no way to be able to turn on. One. Now there is a step on the bottom of these pins that I'm wondering if that is kind of where these were designed to go. Which is maybe three turns up from bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly leave these in without putting the bolts in yet throw it on and see if it clamps better and if it does clamp better we know we're golden there we go that feels way better so even then I think I'm going to go one more turn out from where we're at let's see one Let's see how they all go in now. Nope, that's one too far out. So if you're buying this, there's little lines on the pins. Let me show you in the video. You know, a lot of the Chinese stuff has really come a long way in quality. The only bummer with it is there's really no instructions. So if you see this line, this line should be just underneath the face when you thread it in. I do. I'm going to throw them all in. I'm going to check that they all close properly. And then we'll take it off one last time. Yeah, that one's good. Good.
Well, just retaining screws back in. The big bummer with this stuff is if you've never set up a chuck for a D-style mount, you don't know how it's really supposed to fit. Therefore, if it doesn't fit right and you bolt it together, you might not notice that it's not gripped correctly. And you could set yourself up in a position where it's really, really dangerous. all over get to cutting all right I'm going to click on the phase converter First things first, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to show you the reason we do all this. So now this is a tense indicator. Now granted, this is a tense indicator, super accurate. So each number you see is 1,000. So halfway is four, so if it goes all the way around, it's eight. So, but if we spin this, 1,000. So we're at five the one direction. Not touching anymore. So we're at three and a half to one direction. So it's about 9,000 run out for concentricity. So by us machining this, we'll get it down to, you know, hopefully less than one is really the goal. So now what we're going to do.
I take three off the face. Basically, ten off the face. Now we're just going to take the first light cut and then take a measurement. So we'll take ten, it's eleven, whatever. Take a So what I'll do now, I'll go take 16, I'll go just recheck, this should bring us to 800 even. Seven ninety nine. Fine. So we got 40 left to go. should bring us to 42. Two. 
Now, I'm just going to lightly take a file and kiss that front edge. Yeah, you know what? Where? So all we're going to do is put a light chamfer on the face of this so it seats better. Right, so I'm just going to lightly touch this with a little bit of emery cloth. slide out of the way. Drop a collet in the process. Now, I did this basically as an interference fit. So 
they're exactly the same size. So when they're exactly the same size, it's not just going to slip on nice and easily. You have to give a little force. If you notice, you know, it's a fairly small impact I used. I went around in a triangle pattern to keep it walking down evenly. Um, and that's the best way I've found to do stuff like that. So let's check out on the taper. What we look like. See how we ended up doing. Yeah, I mean that is pretty awesome for for what I'm looking to do to be within Looks like about three tenths. Uh, I mean, for the amount of money this thing is, I don't think you're going to get any better. You can see the method really works well. So, you know, if you guys are looking to do this, you know, there's a link in the description below to this exact one. Um, I'm really, really impressed with it. So I'll end up doing a, a video a little while from now after I've used it a bunch. I really just wanted to do a video to show you guys how to set this kind of stuff up. Um, so hopefully you like the video. If you like it, please like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. You guys have a good day.